day guys and welcome back to another episode. I've just come paddled out off the glen and uh, just paddled for as far as I can and parked up. I know it's been a while and you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing that here on the kayak. Well, I sold the boat not long ago. I went to a family down south so hopefully they get as much fun out of it as I did. But um, for now I'm bound to the kayak and it's not all bad because there's still some beautiful fish to be had. I'll try and catch one more and then I'll head back in so stick around for some snapper action. Alright, so we just finished paddling out. Once you've got that point lining up with that point, lining up with that point, you know you're on the spot. It doesn't work, it just makes it look like you know what you're doing. Let's get a bait in the water. Nice big sharp hooks. One whole head. One whole tail. Way out there somewhere, and we're good to go. Oh, just hooked up to a snapper, and I think I dropped it. Damn. Just gonna check my bait and put it back down there because that was a good fish. Two big baits going down. All right, well, that one's going down. I'll check this one because I haven't had a bite for a while before I got that big take. So um, I have a feeling my baits have been robbed. Just going to pull them in, rebait, and get them back down there. That was a big hook up. So obviously, I sold the boat. Um, those of you that follow me on Instagram would have seen that I got rid of it a couple of months ago. That was a really hard thing for me to do because um, that boat was bloody awesome. Um, absolutely awesome boat. So if you haven't seen it, go and check out my full review of that boat. So yeah, I'm without a boat and um, it sucks. I miss my boat, um, but it's for good reason um, because with the money from that, we've invested in other aspects of our dreams and goals and um, they'll soon to come into fruition. But yeah, for now, we are snapper fishing. Fish on. It's a shark, I think. No, maybe not. Could be a snapper. Who knows? I've just fished in the outgoing tide here and probably in about 20 metres. I paddled out for 20 minutes or so and um, found a spot to park up. Could be a snapper, actually. And this is where I ended up. I think that's a snapper. Uh, it's only light gear so I don't want to put too much drag on but I just want to keep the pressure on it and bring it up to the surface. Oh, quite a bit of weight to it but um, yeah I think it's a snapper. So for bait, me and the kids went out the other day with the drag net and caught a whole bunch of mullet. Big ones we kept for eating and the little ones I kept for bait. And hopefully I can turn them into a snapper. Let's see how we get on. Uh. 
no colour yet. Oh, my arm's getting tired. Sometimes it's just easier to fish heavy gear and haul it in, but it's not as much fun. You don't get that noise. Oh, that is a beautiful fish. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that hook right in the corner of the mouth. Well set. What a beautiful fish. Just gonna try and get him in. Without losing all my gear or losing the fish. Oh shit, just dunked my reel. All right, corner's well hooked, set. Hook's well set in the corner of the mouse, so I'm just gonna haul him in. Oh, <laughs> what a fish! Yes! Oh, yes, what a fish! I'm definitely gonna keep that one because I need some fish for the freezer, so I'm gonna icky him. I just dunk my reel again. Dang it. Hook right in the corner of the mouth there. Let's get that out. Nice solid big hook for these fish. And look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Just look at that, man. Oh yeah, there's some good fillets. That is some good fillets, I'm stoked. Absolutely stoked with that, what a beautiful eating fish. You beauty. All right, I'm gonna get this guy in the bin and maybe catch one more and then I'll go back in. I haven't had anything since that last one. Um, There's a bit of a fight, so it probably scared off any of the other snapper in the area. Um, I'll give it a bit longer. Should be able to catch another one. Should be able to hook up again. But it just got me thinking, like, um, it just goes to show you that you don't need a flash boat and heaps of knowledge and all the gear to come out and catch a good snapper in Tasman Bay. I've got the cheap second-hand kayak, a um, couple of cheap fishing rods, and no Spot X, just paddle out to yay far, drop a bait and wait. Um, it's some of the simplest fishing you can get really. Um, I know there's a lot of hype around the snapper here but it's pretty easy. Yeah, go and get into it, uh, only take what you need. These are big fish, big breeding fish, um, so you don't. there's no need to take your limit. Plenty of meat on one or two fish and uh, means you can come out and do it again. So. Just be careful of what you take from here, guys. It's a pretty sensitive sort of fishery. Um, they're re really important fish, so yeah, just think about that when you're out here catching them.